Folks in Yucatan woke up yesterday morning to the news that Progreso's beach was closed. The media reported that the red tide was the reason for the ban. A red tide happens when algae decomposes rapidly and turns seawater red, depriving it of lots of oxygen. This is potentially dangerous to both human and ocean life. But here's the thing. We have seen red tides in Tilchac, Chichulub, and San Crisanto, but when we arrived in Progreso, it was nowhere to be seen. In fact, the ocean looked as inviting as ever. As it turns out, the reason the beach was closed is only indirectly related to the red tide. Police on the Malecon told us that large numbers of stingrays had been spotted in Progreso's shallow waters, and that's what led to the decision to shut down the beach. A marine biologist, Jesus Manuel Cuevas Medina, said to Yucatan Magazine that the stingrays were in Progreso because they were attempting to escape the red tide in other nearby regions, like Telchac and San Crisanto. Though stingrays generally are not dangerous, they are known to attack humans when in extreme distress or when stepped on accidentally by swimmers. So, the beach remained largely empty for much of the day, especially by summer standards. But, as the day went on, we saw swimmers begin to ignore the warnings and enter the sea anyway. Eventually, the police seemed to have given up on trying to keep stubborn visitors from going in. Meanwhile, Yucatan's Meteorite Museum, formerly called the Museo del Meteorito de Yucatan, opened nearby on the Malecon. The museum has interactive exhibits that tell the story of the famous Chichulub crater impact. The crater itself is not really visible, despite what many think, because it is, well, basically the size of half of the Yucatan Peninsula. The crater was formed when a giant meteor hit the Earth roughly 66 million years ago, bringing an end to the age of the dinosaur. The museum's opening day was extremely well attended by tons of families who waited for hours just to be able to get in. However, though the museum is now officially open, it is clearly not, well, completely finished. Sections of the museum still appear to be under construction, as we can see. And several of the dinosaurs have not even really been fully installed, as we can see from this T-Rex sitting on the back of this giant truck, which is not something you see every day. Entrance to the museum ranges from 100 pesos for kids and 150 pesos for state residents to 250 pesos for domestic visitors and 350 for international tourists. That's all for now, so please click that subscribe button to see more from Yucatan Magazine. Until next time.